what's going on guys hope you all are having a great day out there today so we are still down here at the motocross track and uh, i may be a glutton for punishment but we are going to try the creighton 4s again <laughs> we got the new chassis under this thing um, well it's not a new but it's relatively new it was on the scent and 3s i had um, but uh, the scent got kind of retired so i pulled the chassis off of that and threw it on here i also now have the original stock springs that came with the zd racings on this thing um, so Hopefully this thing holds together today and that uh, doesn't turn into a uh, four jump uh, run again. <laughs> but Isaac's still down here beating a snot out of his Creighton 6S, but uh, we're going to go roam around, I think, into the back part of the track now and have a little fun back there. So stay tuned, everybody. All right, guys, we're going to head into the back of the track here. Hopefully I don't have to walk the whole way back here with this thing this time. <laughs> you got pep. Truck is a lot of fun when it's working right. Oh, and the 4S climbs over the 6S. Start giving the 4S a few launches. Man, guys, I really hope this thing holds together today. I'd like to actually get a fun day out here with the track with it. So also, the big rock that I ripped apart the spur gear on it, um, Isaac went in a hobby shop, and it turns out that they had, well, that's one way to land. And it turns out that they had um, the steel spur gear for it for the for the four or for the uh, Creighton 4S. Actually, they take the same spur gear. So I'm gonna upgrade and put the steel spur in there now that that thing's running on 4S. Definitely have a lot less problems with it, I think. Well, guys, we got a monster over here, <laughs> and I'm really considering and uh, sending the 4S off of it. I mean, I'm I'm 5'11 almost. And uh, this is quite a bit taller than me, so this is probably a good 12 foot uh, to the peak of this thing. Might be able to catch some serious air. The only downfall is I don't want to hit it and land in the pond down there. I also don't want to kill the Creighton for us on the first hit, but I'm just dying to hit this thing. All right, guys, we're just going to go full send with the Creighton 4S. We're going to launch it over here. I was going to try to get some other video footage from it that way. Make sure you're sideways. Superior phone. <laughs> All right, see what happens. Oh, not very much at all. All right, take two. I lost control of it that time. Yeah, I can't. Uh, <laughs> I can't keep the throttle open when I come off that lip. So we're going to try this at a different angle. I think. We're gonna try it from over here, I think. We're gonna line up over this way and try, guys. All right, let's give this one a try. Ooh! <laughs> wow, she had some air time off of that. And it looks like she lived, guys. She's still rolling. Isaac's going to go for the long jump here. Oh! Well, not the prettiest lane in the world. Oh! <laughs> right into the stand. Uh-oh. There's po Battery just the fell out. out. That doesn't look good. Well, Isaac Steiner picking up his pieces. <laughs> battery flew out. Rear shock uh, standoff snapped off. Car's gonna need a little love now, but we're gonna give the Creighton Forest a few sends off of here. Woo! She took it ice. See, these are the fun times with the Creighton Forest when it when it manages to hold up like this. She's running pretty good. And so far, still holding together. Every time I say that, it always seems to backfire on me. Ooh, well that was kind of a little heavy on the back. But, you know guys, the suspension, uh, you know, I first thought that these shocks were a little too soft. But, uh, you know, honestly so far they seem to be doing a pretty good job. So, I'm just going to leave the stock springs to come on the ZD Racings on here. And I have the 60 weight um, in this right now. I might bump them up because they are a little bit soft, but might bump them up a little bit on a little heavier oil. Oh, 
Oh, got a double out of it that time. <laughs> Man. Creighton Forest is flying pretty nice today. Had a really bad time with it down at the BMX track last week. <laughs> Didn't last very long. But so far today, she's holding together pretty well. Whew! Taking some nasty hits. Oh, Paul! I hope I didn't break anything on that. Do wheelies for days. Let's try and see if we can clear this tabletop. Oh, completely missed it. <laughs> see if we can hit it straight this time. Try this again. Get it turned around. Oh, made the whole thing. Hey guys, this is exactly what I was trying to say. That yeah, the Creighton Forest, it has definitely been a problem child. But man, when she is running great, this car is awesome. It is so much fun. It's just a shame when it starts uh, being a piece of junk on me. <laughs> Wow! She really cleared that that time. This thing is running good. You know, I'm honestly starting to wonder if that front bulkhead broke down at the BMX track last week. It was due to those springs I had on this thing. Because like I said, the front springs were really stiff. Um, I shouldn't even probably ran it, but I just wanted to see what it, what it was like. And I, I have a feeling that that's what contributed to the front bulkhead exploding the way that it did. It just was not allowing the suspension to actually compress properly oh oh she made it oh and then i wreck on stuff like that all right guys we're gonna give the creighton for us its final send of the day here hopefully we don't kill it on the last one but we're gonna give her one more good send done off of this thing and it, the last one caught some serious air off this thing so we're gonna go for take two all right let's rip her Nice. Took her like a champ. <laughs> that other side of the hill is all messed up. But man, you, you can see she is all in one piece and holding together pretty good. No cracks. Everything's nice. I do have the RPMA arms on this truck and uh, holding up pretty good. Maybe we'll go one more. <laughs> You know, drive it till it breaks, right? You getting daring now? Are you confident enough to go right over my head? Um, I don't know, but we could try it. Okay. Just make sure you keep your head low enough where I don't Put scalp you. <laughs> I just got his helmet. I would... I'm getting down. All, right. <laughs> all for the footage, man. All for the footage. All right. Oh, I couldn't even see it. Oh, oh, it didn't land on its wheels that time. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for the Creighton 4S video today. You know, like I said, this truck's always been kind of hit and miss with me with uh, problems and how she holds up. But today was definitely a good day. This thing ran great, jumped beautiful, and uh, she's going home in one piece. Unfortunately, unlike, you know, I broke the X-Max down here also today. I just broke an A-arm on that thing, but nothing too major. I got a set of new A-arms coming for that thing. I got a set of RPMs I'm going to try on the X-Max. Um, so, see how those things hold up and work on there. But, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Isaac's doing the walk of shame with his busted up Creighton today. <laughs> but, that's going to do it for the video today, guys. So, until next time, y'all, be safe. Be careful out there. Peace out, everybody.